Hey guys and welcome to episode 1 of season 2 of the Bio Leverkusen Chrome. And before we get into this one, I just want to say a huge thank you for the support you guys have been showing on the series recently. It generally really means a lot, but let's get into season 2. And don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. I'm just going to quickly run through the transfer plans for this season. Now we do plan on selling Florian and Verts, that's because I do believe he will probably leave next season, or if in January. I think he could leave very soon from Leverkusen. Something to how Julian Brandt did, something to how Kai Havertz has. Over by Leverkusen not doing too well, I think they could leave. Or well, he could leave anyway. Same with like Musi Diaby. I think we're going to keep him for the series and just sell back the uh, uh, Flame Vert, sorry. And I do plan on selling one of these two. I'm not sure who it's going to be yet, down the bio at Andalik. I've got a couple of players uh, lined up. I think I might actually sell him to Mibai, being he's the oldest of the two. And Dodic is 28, and he's a very, actually very good CDM. He's very good at what he can do for us. And bringing in like a younger centre mid to replace the Mibai could be a shout. Now, if I do sell uh, Florian Verts, I think Holshek could um, step into the first team. He did have some very good performances last year, so I think if I do sell Verts, I'll bring in Holshek and um, also bring in a younger, a younger Cam to be behind him. So let's get into the series and make some signings. So as you can see, we've just signed uh, Elan Medier from uh, Leeds for 40 million because we sold Hideki for 20 million. So you'll have to see, I did plan to sell Hideki. He's going to be in, I think it's 32 or 33. I think it was 33 at this point. He did start to drop in his rating a little bit. So I did plan to get rid of him. Now we have uh, Medier. As you can see, got kit number 31. I'm going to do something interesting here. We're going to have Muller and Medier bat battle it out for the number one uh, shirt. Obviously, Medier will be starting in our first team. So he does have that advantage due to him being younger and having higher potential than Florian Muller but I wouldn't be surprised if Florian Muller in the second team puts in some impressive, impressive performances, grows a decent amount and does earn himself with a the number one kit, or well, kit number Our uh, second big signing of the season is a new centre mid, a man who's going to be placed in Demobai we haven't yet sold Demobai, still waiting for an offer but I had to pull the trigger on the signing as Bournemouth were about to buy him and that man is Nico Gonzalez from Barcelona brought him in for 29 million, he's 78 rated, 21 years old we're deciding, I think, about the future. Some of Melia, that's the two signings I made. I think about the future of this team, not the now. We're in the Europa League, so it's a good, se it's a good season for these players to develop. As you can see, he's putting on the red and black of Leverkusen. And here we are, the first game of season two. And as you can see, we are going to start flying verts on the camera. That's because this could be his final game for us. As he's on the verge of making a transfer to Juventus for a lot of money. And uh, I've, I think I've figured out who I want to bring in to replace him. Not to replace him, but to play the backup or to hold Shaq, who will go into that camera. Yeah, we're going to start Nico Gonzalez giving his debut and Melier to give him his debut. So let's get into this one up against uh, Mission Gladbach and hopefully get a win to start our season. Okay, Hoffman now. Kramer. Christoph Kramer blocked by Jonathan Tarr, but somehow Jonathan Tarr loses out to that. That's over again. How have we lost the ball twice there? How did we lose the ball twice there? After winning it perfectly. We we'll lose the ball instantly. And Hoffman puts on one little player. Melier, that's a shot he probably should have saved, let's be honest. Melier should have saved that. Well, let's see it better from here, as you can see. How did we lose the ball there? And exactly uh, maybe, uh, Melier probably could have saved that. But it's one of those where it's like you can see it going in and being saved. Better positioning, Melier would have done better, but it's where it is, and we're one or down. I see the Abbey with that one in about there. And there's the delivery. That's way too much power on that one, and Jan Sommer can catch that. It's one thing we lose with Demo by his corner taking capabilities. They scored quite a few that he worked in last season. That's a great win for Nico and Gonzalez. Flying Verts now, this is a goal. Flying Verts, that's a goal, surely. Flying Verts, there we go. It could be his final time we're seeing this if he doesn't score in the rest of this game. So. Take this in, Fly Inverts number 27 could be making his move to the Allianz Arena. Or is it Allianz State? I think it's the Allianz Stadium. He could be making us over to the uh, to Turin to join Juventus. But he gets, us, uh, gets himself a goal here to put us uh, level again. Let's hope he can put in a good performance for the rest of the game. Well, up until the 60th minute anyway, when I want to bring on Holshek. Back to Nico. Nico Gonzalez. From range, Nico Gonzalez. Puts his. A goal up, what a strike that was from Nico Gonzalez on his debut. He had, a, he had a shot early on in the game that I'm probably not going to show in the highlights. 
that was going cl that was close to going in, but this is on his other foot this time. And that is a fantastic finish from the Spaniard. That's him saying we've lost him, we might be losing Demo by, but you've got me. Because that's a world class finish. This is stopped by Incapi there though, can we keep it though? How? How? Okay, Shadow. Kevin, love to see that. Love that from you, Kevin. Someone please tell me how to pronounce his second name, because I can't keep calling him Kevin, he's German. Oh, that's brilliant from him though. That is brilliant from him though. And that's 3 1. Andy Young played our team to the next level of Sonny when I signed him. It's showing that capability. It's coming good this season. I'm telling you, this season, just look at that. That's his dribbling capability. It shows good strength and a great finish. And I'm going to bring on another youngster who's going to make his serious debut. Let's bring him on and I'll show you who that is. Well, I actually showed you last uh, episode, but we'll show you who it is in this one for new viewers. So it isn't offside. Oh, I don't know what happened on there. Hoffman, no. Melier makes a good save. Okay, Jan Summers come up. He's not really the tallest goalkeeper. So realistically, bringing him forward doesn't really make sense to me. Can Holshek get round? Holshek get into their half. Holshek now hit that. Holshek for the longest goal we're probably going to see the series. He does it. It's a tame effort from that range. But we've got a goal on the counter attack from a corner. That's a danger of bringing your goalkeeper up, especially when it's Jan Sommer who isn't tall. He's tall enough to be a good, decent goalkeeper. He's a very good goalkeeper at IRL. But to win a header, they're going to be the shape. And Holshek gets himself a goal from about 40 yards out, I believe that is. It's obviously not the greatest attempt. It's a very tame attempt. Bounces like 15 yards before the goal. But yeah, 15 yards is a bit too much. And Holshek now, can he play through Wagner? Yes, he can come on Wagner. Got inside. I forgot what foot he is, to be honest. Oh, but the, he hasn't got a pace. But that's that's a win. 4 1 victory in that first key. Obviously, at times, it didn't look too good, especially in the first half. Like, I thought Gladbach were going to beat us, not going to lie. But the second half, we really stepped forward and showed what we can do. Let's continue with the episode. And as you can see here, Flying Vets has made the move to Juventus. They have paid 150 million for him. So it is sad to see him leave. Obviously, he did get a goal in his final of a game. But yeah, I'm going to show you who we're going to bring in to be our backup to Adam Horshek. Obviously, we do also have uh, Emery, who can be our uh, backup as well. We're going to rotate him with the younger player we're going to bring in. Let me get in, let me get him in and show you who that's going to be. And as you can see, the player we're brought in to be our third choice cam is going to rotate a lot with Emery in this team. Obviously, Emery is going to complain about game time a little bit, so I might uh, put him on the bench the first team and bring him more than Zahaku here. Who were brought in from a uh, sporting Lisbon, the Cam, who can also play right wing. He looks a very talented player, obviously, at sight in prospects, he's put a development plan on him, but he's got power free kick. He's already got 74 free kick accuracy, which is incredible, being a 71 rated player. As you can see, his shot power is high, his curve is good, his ball control is good, his passing is very good as well. Just like a very good all round player. He needs a bit of a just, uh, obviously, a bit more. What's the word I'm looking for? A bit more development. But we're going to give him that in this series, and he's going to be our first choice camera. Hopefully, he can step up to maybe get the first team spot or the second team spot. Uh, obviously, from Holshek or Amiri. Okay, for this game up against Colin, we're just going to do the uh, highlights for this one. We are going to give it as a hack of his debut, he's going to be on the bench, so hopefully, they'll bring him on. We also would have Wagner on the bench again for this one, so let's get into this one up against Colin and hopefully get another win to continue our very good start to the season. Okay, first highlight of the game is a current attack here, five minutes, and obviously, Holshek is now in that first team camp position. So I mean if I should change this kit number from a 23 which it currently is but I might leave it on 23 for now because obviously he's still developing as a player but that was a great ball from him. Now Musi Diaby is in here, Musi Diaby can he play that back across to Patrick Schick and Patrick Schick loses out on the ball and Jonas Hector gets it cleared though but we get a free kick here, 17 minutes in, we probably should have scored from that chance to be honest. He was sending over this one, it's Patrick Schick for some reason, obviously Demobai was our free kick taker so we don't really, we've got Andrik who's a good free kick taker. He is right footed, so I think I'm going to just lift this one into the box and hope for the best. And I whip that one in about there, put a little bit of power on that, and I hope someone can get their head on that. It's a decent cross. Unfortunately, a Leverkusen player can get ahead on it, and we lose the ball. But we get another attack here, 23rd minute in. So hopefully, we can make good of this one. Of Nico Gonzalez here. 
kept it. So slightly heavy touch, but obviously that position isn't too bad that he did that. Ikan Gonzalez now, can he get that into Diaby? Yes, he can. Diaby now just needs an option here. He gets one with Frimpong. Can whip in a decent cross, but goes to Hudson Adoy. Ain't really going to. Oh, come on, game. Let me have that chance. One thing I complained about a lot last season is uh, highlights cut off way too early. And one thing you probably will hear me complain about a, li a bit more this season is that. But from this corner, we actually do get it over to Patrick Schick. And Patrick Schick can't get to the second attempt. A Schwab makes a save. Well, Cohen get their first attack here in the highlights anyway, 48 minutes in from a corner. Let's try and uh, clear this one. They are calling a player short. Are they going to use him? I'm not too sure. I'm not going to. Gonna go in to take it, murder the canal. I wish we could counter straight away, but we get a counter here, 77, well, crossing opportunity, 77 minute in. We do sort of shake on the pitch. I think this is Palinio and a wing though. Palinio, Patrick Schick just makes the runs too late into the box, I've noticed a lot. A whole shake now from range, and it's blocked by Patrick Schick. But here we go, 82nd minute, this should be a goal shortly. Oh, we we won the up. How have we won the up? When did that happen? How have we scored a goal? And I've not seen it. Oh, Pat to the shit now. Okay, come on, Pat to the shit. Where's your strength there, lad? Well, as we approach full time, we have to We're 88th minute, the minute here. Hasn't been a for them. Can we have to try and stop the Ukrainian talent here. And Jonathan Tarr does so. Now, if that was me doing the highlights, that would have been a lost of all situation. The second a defender gets a touch on the ball, the chances are we won the game, and it's not a goal that I've seen. So, I mean, we'll take it. One thing I'm going to show you here is well, something very interesting. As you can see, I rejected an offer from Leicester, not Leicester, uh, Roma earlier in the season, but we can get a bunch of money for Patrick Schick. Now, Patrick Schick's a player that I could see as selling. He is 27, and we are in Europa League this season. We kind of didn't really perform as good as we needed to last season. And he was our top goal scorer to be fair with 28 goals in all competitions. But I would kind of like to bring in a replacement. Let me know if you think we should sell him in January. And considering that money we'll get from him, so we could sign a quite significant replacement where we wouldn't really lose too much on the overall. But I want someone who's about like 20 above. So yeah, we're going to reject this offer from Inter Milan from now. But it's a player that we could sign in the future if you guys want me to. So let me know in the comments below if you think that should happen. And yeah, I think we're going to keep the bench how it is for now. I think we're going to give Isahaku his debut. And we're going to keep the bench how it is for this game. And yeah, we're going to get into this game up against a team that I did say they did win. The uh, league title last season, one point ahead of uh, Dortmund. You see, they've got a very good side. That's Werner, Gundogan, they've brought in, they got Haidara, Simakan, Jose Gaia, Jovario, Klostam, Glashi, Pedro Gonzalez, and Kunku, obviously. Let's get into this game and hopefully continue our unbeaten run at the start of the season. And get a win over probably the best team in Germany right now in this crow mode. And the canal. Oh, Schick. Can he play that through? Please go inside. Patrick Schick. That's a pen. Ref, that's a pen. How's it not a card? How are you not giving a card for that ref? That should be a red, surely. Or a yellow. I'd, I'd give a yellow for that, I think. Patrick Schick, can he get a go in soft a goal here? When the penalty is going to take it, we're going to go. Going to go top right and that side netting. Even if Galashi went that way, he wouldn't have saved it. And the man who went to just try to offer 150 million, I think it was for him. Went to the 15. It was a great offer because it accepted, but he puts his one little pair up against the league leaders. Well, the league winners, sorry, last season. And I'm hoping for much more goals from him in played games this season. They scored a lot in uh, simulated games, but in played, he kind of let me down sometimes. I'm hoping that he steps up this season. Simakon now coming forward. Pedro Gonçalves. Pedro Gonçalves plays through Werner. And Pedro Gonçalves. That was great play. It's number nine. Interesting. Obviously, Werner's number 11, I think. But to fair, it's poor defender from uh, Top Sober and Hincapié and poor goalkeeper from Melier. It's great play from Leipzig, but poor defender from its and it's not a bad level. Oh, Nkunku. Nkunku plays it through to Werner and that's 2-1. They, they are just unstoppable. 
In Kunku and Verna are just a deadly pairing in FIFA anyway. And Verna's a bit indecent. I see Verna's kind of revitalizing himself over at Leipzig from what I've heard anyway. But in Kunku, it's again poor defending. But we're two one down here. Literally, they've had two shots, two goals after we scored. I mean, it's now two one. Come on, Kunku, leave me alone, man. Kunku, leave me alone, please. Please, and Kunku. He's just too good, man. He's too good. Kind of wish he moved from Leipzig in the scrum, I'm not going to lie. And it's 3-1. They've had three chances, three goals. That is why they won the league last season. You got It's cl clearly why they won the league. Nah, they just knew what, exactly what I wanted to do there. I don't know how Nkunku kept that ball there. Klosterman's got a goal. Why is Klosterman up front? What's happened? But how can they play those passes, man? That's happened. They've done that three times now, I feel like. Three or four times. When I've just perfectly played the perfect ball. And my defenders just can't stop it. Like this, uh, that pass, that pass, into the finish. If I went down here, it's a very embarrassing game up against Leipzig, where it is where it is. Oh shit, now. Palacios, why not from Palacios? And that's incredible. Ezekiel Palacios scores a goal that might give us a chance in this game. Gonna make a change or two. Just to freshen up this team. Oh, Palacios scores a similar goal that uh, Nico Gonzalez scored. Nico Gonzalez was more of a Trevada shot from a wider angle. But this is more just like a power strike into the back of the net from Palacios. Oh, Kevin. That, that room effect is just what I needed there. I was just seeing what he could do, but it's a 4 2 loss to RB Leipzig. That's why they that's why they won the league. That is why we're down the league. That's clearly a statement of intent from them. Before this game against Hoffenheim, we're going to play the highlights with the second team. I'm hoping to get a win in this one because they have our first game of over the group stage up against, I think it's Nice we're playing. And I want to similar up with the first team to get like, a guaranteed win pretty much. Let's get into this game and hope to get a win over Hoffenheim. Okay, so early on here we've got an attack from Hoffenheim to defend. Obviously with the second team we've got a bit of an issue with Dardai. Uh, being our uh, like fourth choice or fifth choice centre back, but Carstensen get makes a good interception there. And Hoffenheim get a corner though a minute later. But yeah, Dada I probably should have loaned him out to be honest, because Casuno and obviously first immense are our backup centre back, our high straight backup centre backs, and he isn't really going to get that much game time this season. So I think come January we're going to loan him out. Whether that's offside, yes it is. We actually do get an attack here because it's a free kick. Oh no, we don't. Okay. We got a crossing opportunity here. Adley's in the box. I side. Adley over Wagner, but I kind of wish I had Wagner now. Going to get it into Adley, and Adley misses the header, but Wagner probably would have got to that header. Whether he would have scored it, we don't know. But oh, we can't keep that one in. But 41 minutes, we've got a solo run here. Who's on the ball? Going to find out in a second. A Paulinho on the ball, and he kind of messed it off from himself, turning back. But Adley now, Adley can get himself a goal, set himself for the strike, hits it straight at Bauman. But Kevin here, he's had a pretty good episode to be fair, he's got that very good goal at the very start of the episode, I think it is now. The first game of the episode at least. Players just make the runs into the box too late, I've noticed in this game. Adley Mameri now. Is it two Palacios? He did just score a long shot in his last game. I was in that 4 2 loss, he scored that long shot. Mr. Diaby now has been brought on to try and get himself a goal. To try and get us a goal, to be honest. Adley now, can he hold it to the centre back and get a strike away? Yes, he can. And he puts it into the back of the net. I mean, Adley, our backup striker, obviously, with Osmoon at the end of the season. I don't think I really showed that. We sold him to Benfica for like 42 million. Adley is now our backup uh, striker. And yeah, he's a very good player, to be honest. I'm uh, hoping he can have a good development this season, but we've got a chance to defend here. A very interesting defensive setup with everyone. At least we have players back. 
but it's not going to help us, is it, Okafor? But Muller is a good goalkeeper, and makes a good goalkeeper, and sorry, but is good, I can't even speak, makes a good save, and we get a wonder win over Hoffenheim. Let's get into our next game up against Nice. Okay, for this game up against Nice, we're going to play the Harlots as one up against the French side, because they've got a pretty good, decent team. Obviously, Nice in real life aren't actually doing too well. And they've got a, a Taram, obviously, Miffy, they've got Sario, they've got a Delore at front, they've got Safian Diop, they've got Le Norman at the side, that's in the back. They've also got Tadibo, but let's get into this game and play the highlights of this one, hopefully get a win to kick off our group stage. Okay, so we're going to attack three minutes in there, let's see what we can do from this one. Hopefully we want to get a, a win to kick off our group stage. And it gets it into Holshek, gets it into Nick and Gonzalez, hopefully he can continue his good performance in this episode. Hoping this man steps up, to be honest, same with Yabi. A free to pack to the shook here. It was, a, it was an awkward attempt from him, but unfortunately we can't score from there. Get an attack here, and Delic on the wall. Is it into Holshek? Is it into Patrick Schick? What's on the door? Three to Gonzalez, that should be a goal. That should be 1 0, but Cash from Michael makes an unreal save, and now the Abbey. Over here to what's on the door? What's on the door? How have you lost out to that man? How have you lost that ball there, and now needs to have an attack? We really should have scored there. It's really annoying that like Hudson had lost that ball. Come on, okay, there we go. We give away a free kick, but hopefully we don't, don't do anything from this free kick. I just want to have the uh, like one-on-one -on -one attack, so I just gave away that free kick there. And I kind of wish we got the opportunity to counter attack straight from that, because it would have been a pretty good counter attack. But we've got a free ball to play there, and hopefully it gets played, because... Okay, that just isn't where I wanted that free ball to be played. Got a free kick though, 15 out of minute. Not really from a sh Is it a shoot? No, it's not really a shooting position. I don't really have anyone that I can shoot with on free kicks, to be honest. I'm gonna play that there with whole Shek. Back to the Shek. And okay, we're somehow almost lost the ball there. Back to the Shek. Palacios has been brought on. Over here, two Shek. And why has he turned it into the centre back? With the drag back. Why did he turn it into the centre back with a drag back? Okay, bottom left through ball. Okay. I put, I said bottom left through ball, and that is what the game decided to do. That's why through balls this year are just useless. Because they just don't work out. Palacios, please keep this ball. Palacios, please keep this. Can I have an option, please? That'd be nice, there we go. And uh, that isn't a lot that is a lost ball, but it isn't a lost ball, man. This is really annoying me this game right now. As in this game against Nice. Because we should be winning this. So the Abbey, oh come on. And I need to have a freak. Watch them score this free kick. Watch them score this free kick. That's how this game's gonna go. Their first proper attack, well their second proper attack. That we've had two we should have scored. Free kick straight into Melier's hand. And it's a nil-nil draw against Nice. Let's just get out of this game. Okay, for this game against Freiburg, we're going to rotate the side a little bit. We're going to give Emery some game time. We're going to give Wagner the start in the first team. So let's get into this one. I'm going to play the highlights again up against Freiburg. And let's hopefully actually get a win up against them. Because we should beat this team. So early on we have a corner here. We do have Jonathan Tarr in the box. Same with uh, Top Sober. We don't Wagner. Is that Wagner in the box? But if it's like six foot, I'm not too. Here it is. But why is Wagner on the edge of the box when he's like one of our taller players? Jonathan Tarr. Jonathan Tarr, good header, but it's saved. Now we have a solo run here, 15 minutes in. This is going to be Wagner on the ball, isn't it? And it's not that good on the ball. So hopefully we get some. Get some. Uh, back up here. We're going to go along with Wagner. Okay, luckily we get a second attack. I should have played it over to Diaby, but I thought Wagner. He has got five star weak foot by the way. So that was just awful from him. Okay, luckily keep the ball there. Or keep the chance going. Emery. Over to Nico Gonzalez. Nico Gonzalez gets his second long shot of the episode. Ah, but it's into the hands of Flecken. Get another solo run here with uh, Hudson Adoy. Is Dobby making a run there? 
Yes, he is. Please be onside. Please be onside. Uh, Diaby. Moussa Diaby. Is that his first goal of the episode? It might be, you know. It's not had a great episode. Need for us, Callum Hudson Adoy. It's been an opposite start to the start of last season where he actually did bits for us. Did amazing for us. Uh, can't even speak now. Moussa Diaby did bits for us at the start of last season. But we've got another so solo run here. Can we, is it going to be a carbon copy of our last goal? Hudson Adoy. Through ball. Moussa Diaby. Moussa Diaby over to Wagner. And a little skill finish there. And Wagner gets himself a goal. And we're hoping to see that more this season. Wagner on the score sheet. Because if not, if by January we're not really doing that well with him, I might learn him out, to be honest. We're going to see how we're doing by January. If we need to learn that, we would do. But Freiburg get a current attack here just before half time. So this isn't what you want to see. Okay, but Frimpong, let's go away from him. And I wish we could get that current attack, but it's a 2 0 win in the end. We didn't get a single attack in the second half, apparently. But it's a 2 win over Freiburg, so we'll take it. Okay, for this game up against Hamburg, I'm going to conduct a little experiment. If you've seen the rest of the series, you know that sometimes I do like the play match, but I only show the goal scored if it is like playing highlights. So that's the, thing I, uh, that's the thing I might do for most games, where I actually just play the game and I only show the goals that go in. So that's what I'm going to do for this game, because I feel like if I just did a highlights, I can't really create that many good attacks that look good in terms of like goals scored and added. There's not really much fluidi fluidity in the game. So I'm gonna play this game. I'm gonna play the uh, just. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the highlights. But I'm gonna play the full game. So let's get into this one. It's good win there for Andrik. Obviously, I took shits back in the side. Missed Gabby now. With the confidence he had from last game from scoring, he scores a great one there. And Musi Diaby, I think he's gonna start start showing what he can do now. Obviously, we know what he can do. We've seen what he can do last season. But this season he's gonna start getting his numbers. This is a good ball into Schick. A ball played over to Diaby. Good turn inside. On the outside, sorry. And a shot across the goal into the top left corner. Unstoppable. And we'll want to look there. Hit that sober, I love that. Oh, shade. Kevin, that is disgusting from him. Plays it through. Adley to bury it. Adley, you can't not miss that. You can't not score that, sorry. Kevin now. Ke Kevin, go. Kevin, this is you, lad. This is you. This is you, the former Freiburg man. Forced to hold check. And we finally get our second of this game. This game should have ended like 5 0 to us. I'm not even joking. Obviously, you've only seen like a couple of highlights on this game. That like, the great skill move from you've only seen like three, like two goals and uh, one from uh, a great skill move from Shad or Kevin. Well, uh, Kevin did well here. Yeah. Someone please tell me how to pronounce the second name because I can't keep calling him Kevin. But Holshek here, let's blast it into back of there. It falls back to him, and we get a little bit of luck, and we go two 0 up here. Okay, here we go. Let's pull it off again. Oh, he's too good. He's too good. He is too good. He is so good. Adley makes it 3-0. But Kevin. I cannot tell you how happy I am that he's like, like he's, like, he's so good in this game. I can't even speak because of how amazed I am at how good he's been in this episode. Just look at this man. A cut inside, a cut back, a ball across, and then Adley buries it. And this is going to be the final game of the episode. I've got a big question for you at the end of the episode, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, it's going to be probably a 3 0 win here. Yeah, it's going to be a 3 0 win because it's the end of the game, the final kick of the game. Right there, it's a 3 0 win up against Hamburg. It's a great win, but let's get into the, the final minute of the episode where I ask you a very big question, so stay tuned for that. Uh, uh, we're going to actually sim this game in the uh, Europa League up against uh, Nordkopping. And hopefully get a win over them, we should win, because obviously they're the Swedish team. We get two two draws. We get two draws in my opening two games. Kevin and Amiri get the goals. We finally get an episode that's actually going to be this one. We're going to sim this game up against Mainz in the league. We should beat them, so hopefully we do. We, we're hearing obviously some lo-fi in the background. And why do I speak? Why do I speak? No, I'm not having this. 
I'm going to show you the leaks anyway. I'm just going to let this be one long clip, at least two one to mine somehow. We're on 15 points before that game, and we're still on 15 points. But mites, we're going to show you where they are. I'm going to take away three points from that as well, obviously. Mites. Where are mites? Where are they then? They were eighth. Okay, so they had nine points. So, I mean, it's not a bad loss, but we shouldn't, we shouldn't have lost to them, man. We shouldn't have lost to them. But yeah, that's going to call it for the end of this episode, but I actually gonna, gonna need to switch what you're seeing to the squad hub. Because I've got a very big question to ask you. One that I pondered early on in the episode that you would have seen is about this man. Patrick Sheik. Should we sell him? He's got two goals already this season, but in terms of overall gameplay, I just feel like we could be better. As you see, Adley's got two games, two goals. But I can have three games, one goal. I just feel like we could do a little bit better in terms of like who we actually have up front. Maybe a smaller, more agile striker. I did see Kalim Adiemi get commented for a, uh, a player that we should sign, which could happen. Let me know if you think we should do that. Obviously, that would cause issues with Adley being around the same rating. We could give Adley the starting role, depending on how we're doing in January. And we could sort of shake. Or we could um, sort of shake and send a better striker to replace um, to place them. So let me know if you think we should do that. He's worth obviously about 100 million. We could get up to 140 million for him. That is absolutely unreal. So let me know if you think we should sell him in January. And um, yeah, it's going to be the end of the episode here. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notifications so you don't miss a video. Yesterday I did upload a Master AV build. So make sure to go to check that out. There's obviously a playlist at the end of the video that you're going to see probably on screen right now about this series. It's going to be the rest of, so you can go back and check out season one. Uh, see what happened in season one. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support on these videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.